Happy New Year everybody and welcome to 2017! You made it! Congratulations! This video is what I got for Christmas and my birthday. My birthday is the 28th of December, so I figured rather than making two videos, I would kind of combine everything into one. In fact, whilst you're watching this, assuming you're watching this before the 5th of January, I am in the Maldives catching some sun and swimming with friendly sharks, because that was one of my gifts from my wife. So, cool. Up first, I'm gonna start here because it's right next to me. This is from my mum. Now, in my house, my family, we do Secret Santa. We're all getting a bit older now. I'm the youngest in my family, I just turned 29. So, we don't need to get loads of gifts. We get gifts for my sister's kids, because they're children. For the rest of us, though, we just do Secret Santa. However, my mum likes to get us all something, so she often makes a hamper. Here is the hamper to me and Tanya, my wife. Up first, we have these, this. I'm not sure if it's a singular or a plural, but, Whatever it is, is a book stop in the shape of a sausage dog. You might know this about me. I have a sausage dog, and I think actually having a book stop version is really cute. And the more books you put in the middle, the longer your sausage gets. Adorable. We also have um, two bottles of the same wine. Now, I don't drink wine, I don't like it, but my wife does, and Malbec is one of her favourites. But I do wonder if maybe one of these bottles was for somebody else's um, basket, because I'm not sure why I would get two of the same, but thanks mum, they're lovely. I do, however, like gin, so mum bought me some gin. In fact, there's a real gin theme running through um, these Christmas gifts, so brace yourself for lots of gin. Some Belgian chocolates, um, and some green and black chocolate. We have uh, organic dark chocolate and dark chocolate with mint, I think, lovely. We have Belgian dark chocolate and ginger biscuit, and a candle. And, two more things, photos from my wedding. So here is uh, me and my wife and my mum, and here is me and my wife in frames. Thanks mum! Do you know what? Whilst I've got one bottle of gin out of the way, I'm gonna do all the other gin-based things. Um, so here we go, here's another bottle of gin. This is Norwich Dry Gin. So Norwich is the city that I'm from, so it's gin from my home turf. This comes from uh, Tarn's parents, so my in-laws. Thanks very much, in-laws. have another bottle of gin here. <laughs> from my wife. <laughs> this one is from Kew Gardens, which is um, a really nice place in London. Uh, apparently it's a bit more floral than the other one, so more gin. I also have these two things, not gin, but gin-based. So um, one of my favourite drinks is a Negroni, which has Campari and Vermouth and gin. So I've got enough gin, now I've got the Campari and the Vermouth. But it doesn't end there. I also have just a bottle of Negroni, which is kind of the Campari, the Vermouth and the gin um, already mixed together. That came from Kate, who's a very good friend of mine. But wait! Uh, this one isn't actually gin itself, but this is a gin-based cocktail book. Do you know what? I've only really started drinking gin in the last sort of year or so, but I'm really hard to buy gifts for, because I have a lot of stuff already. So people just go, he likes gin! Get him gin stuff! So this is a book full of uh, gin cocktails. This came in my stocking um, from my lovely wife. Oh, one more thing that's kind of gin-based are these. These are ice cube moulds, so they're big ice cubes. Um, you can get a jack shape, a cube, and a sphere, they're all in there. You fill them up with water, you put them in your freezer, and then it keeps your drink cool. One of my favourite gifts this year uh, came from my wife, and it is this kind of ensemble here. This is a cosy set, so I've got cashmere bottoms and a cashmere hoodie. If you're anything like me, as soon as you get into your house from wherever you've been, you take all your clothes off and put cosy gear on. That's why currently I'm in a hoodie and tracky bottoms. But my hoodie and tracky bottoms I'm wearing at the moment aren't cashmere. And these ones are, and I love them, so thank you very much, wife. Whilst I'm on the theme of clothing, I will also show you these trainers that my wife bought me. Um, these are by Brunello Cuccinelli, and they are super cool. So we've got um, cord here, leather here, and suede here. And to be honest, I'm not really into mixed media so much, but I really like this. I think they're beautiful. I've tried them on, they fit really well, and they look really cool on. Uh, also, brilliant brand. Also in my stocking from my wife was this. This is a pocket square which goes in your top breast pocket in a suit, uh, and it's by Etro, and it's really gorgeous. What I like about this one is that you can kind of ruffle it up a bit, and you get either or both the border or the inside, and you can kind of pick and choose. You just want the border, you just want the inside, you know, you can mess around with it. Very nice. Terry's chocolate orange, because uh, no Christmas is complete without Terry's chocolate orange. That was also in my stocking. Another tiny thing that was in my stocking, but um, very, very nice indeed, is by Prada, and it is cufflinks. So, whoops, I wanted cufflinks for a while, because the ones that I have previously, it's quite hard to explain, but they didn't work very well as cufflinks, because you had to just squeeze it through your um, the hole in your um, in your cuff, and it wasn't working very well for me. These ones are much better because this bit twists like that, so it's really easy to get in and out. And they're really simple studs, 
by Prada, they're beautiful, and I love my wife. Thanks, mate. My stocking was very good indeed. These were also in it. These are sunglasses by Saint Laurent, and I haven't actually seen them on yet. I, I really like them off, but I haven't put them on in front of a mirror. I'm just assuming they look good. Another stocking filler. This is a monopod slash tripod. So it's a tripod like this. Uh, or a monopod like this, and then you can hold it and film things. I added this connection myself because I had this before, this little bit, where I can put my phone into, because sometimes I film on my phone. But you can just unscrew it, and then you've got like a tripod connection for your camera. Photos! These again were in my stocking. Um, so here is me and Tarn um, snowboarding and skiing um, from like early December it was. Here we are. And here we are doing snow angels. And my final gift from my wife, apart from me being in the Maldives already, um, is this. This is an envelope. Inside it um, are two tickets to go and see uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Royal Albert Hall, accompanied by a live orchestra. So they'll be playing the music that happens on the film in real time live. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Let's move on to the book section of my gift, shall we? Um, firstly, I want to show you this because this blew my mind. Here I have a book of Jim from my mum and a book of James from my brother. Th they didn't know, like, these are identical books. They're books that you can basically tailor yourself and you can put the name on the front, change the colour of it. On the inside, there are cool little things like, James, you have two fewer chromosomes than a common potato and things like that. Little bits and bobs from life and interesting things. I don't mind that I've got two of them. I think it's a really cute story that my mum and my brother both got me the same thing. More books. Here I have a book from uh, my ma and pa-in-law. This is Jealousy by Alain Rob Grillet. Uh, it's a French book, apparently. I've never read it, but Mel, who's Tars' mum, has, and said it's really, really beautiful. And it's very short. So I have a thing about long books. I read really slowly, and I don't have lots of free time, so I got short books, which is really sweet. So this is only, like, 120 pages or something, so that's really cool. Tarn also got me this one. I don't know anything about it. Uh, it's called Slaughterhouse Five. It's one of her favourite books. Not about a slaughterhouse, which is confusing based on the title, but apparently really, really good. This is called The Ocean at the End of the Lane, and it's by Neil Gaiman. And the reason I got this, well, the reason my my wife bought me this is because the previous two books I've read that I've really enjoyed have both been by the same author. So um, sticking with that theme. This is really cool. Um, you might know this about me, I'm obsessed with science and facts and space and stuff. Uh, this is called Expanding Universe and basically it's a collection of photos from the Hubble telescope of space shit. And I just think that's so cool. Um, and like it's glossy and it's huge and I'm try trying to open it with one hand. But just look at stuff like that. That's all in space. Like, just mesmerising, isn't it? So, I think it's a really cool sort of coffee table book just to flick through. From my sister-in-law, for my birthday, I got this. The 1000 Dr. Dot book. It's Dr. Dot, but it's Dr. Dot times a million. Like, look! What? And do you know what? I reckon that's the Mona Lisa. I can tell what that is already. How mental does that look? Look how many dots there are to join. My final book came from my sister, and it is called Phantasmagoria. Basically, this is, I think, incredible. It has all the origins of mythical beasts. I'm obsessed with, like, Greek mythology and Roman mythology and gods, and I find it all really fascinating. And this has the, the beginnings, the, the essence of where these things came from, which I do find fascinating, so I'm excited to read that. Also, my sister got me some other bits and bobs. Now, my sister is lovely, but she called me before my birthday and was like, dude, I don't know what to get you. You've got stuff. Um, I can either get you something really sentimental, which you don't have time for, or I can get you novelty stuff. So novelty stuff works for me fine. So now I have some novelty stuff. I got that book, and I got these two things. This one here is um, three-in-one paper aeroplanes. They've got little engines on them, and you get three paper aeroplanes. She left the price on, £13. Cheers, Sam. Um, and you get kind of three different aeroplanes that you can apparently fly with an engine. Cool. And this is a solar panelled robot, and you can make one of six things. A robot, a solar air thing. I quite like the idea of the um, the plane. You just kind of sit it on your desk and hopefully it spins and stuff. That's cool. My brother also got me um, a training top, because I go through these quite quickly. I just wash them a lot and then they shrink a bit so they got me a new top to go to the gym in and also protein my brother's a personal trainer and i'd run out of protein and was like can you get me a good one please so he got me that for my birthday from my sister and her husband i got this now this is really cool it's a very limited edition um cup and saucer made by an artist and this is like number 162 of 250 made it's got superman 
don't know if you can see, it's got Superman and Spider-Man on the front. Um, and it's really kind of unique. Well, not entirely unique, there's 250 of them, but not many mugs are this unique. So that's really cool. I'm never going to use it because it's too precious to use, but I am going to keep it forever. I'm nearly at the end. I have here a massive chocolate coin. It's huge! And this final gift is actually a gift to myself. <laughs> I bought myself this. This is the Osmo Mobile, and it's basically like a, um, a steady cam for your phone. So I vlog quite a lot, and sometimes when I'm walking, you get a lot of like vibration and e image stabilization issues. This solves that, but also can do other things like face tracking. So you can put it on a stand, and I can be walking around the room and it'll track me. And also I can set it up to do other things like time lapses and stuff. And if I'm doing like an outfit post, someone can hold it and sort of swing around me and it can look really sexy and brilliant. A gift to myself. And so what? I can do that. I believe that is everything. I've definitely missed something out. And whoever, the, whoever it is that got me that one thing, I'm really sorry. I love it, whatever it is. I just can't remember. There's too much stuff to talk about. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and I hope 2017 kicks ass for you. Uh, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.